All right, guys, today I'm going to be replacing the seat belts, the rear seat belts, the rear side seat belts of a 2007 FJ Cruiser. I'm in the back of it already. I got this one in replaced already. It looked just like this other one, um, which you can see is frayed on the edges. I don't know if there was a a dog or something that chewed on that or if it was rubbing on something from a previous owner we bought this fj about a year ago um, and it's had this issue since and the kids hate them the seat belts because they're really difficult to get uh this piece kind of through that on the where that is uh frayed so bought some new ones from a website and um i'll share with you guys a link with the to the company olathtoyota.com um, it's a good product so far, so I got the other one swapped out pretty easily. I'm going to walk you through how I did it uh, on this right one. All right, let's get started. All right, first things first, you're going to want to make sure and remove uh, your negative from the battery cable. I was told to do this by a technician, uh, even though, as far as I can tell, there's no wires or anything that connects to the seat belts. But I've been fooled before, so I won't be fooled again. I disconnected the battery cable. All right, to take the to get back there where the seat belt is, you got to take this gray panel out as well as the black one below. You don't have to take it all the way out, but you just have to lean it back. So back here on the corner, I'm gonna get this guy out, and then I go ahead and take this off. Don't know that you have to. Um, but I'm just taking stuff off to get it out of my way. Okay, both of these need to come out. Uh, it's a 10 millimeter socket. I'm not going to film that. This little guy above the window needs to come out. You just pop it in just a little bit. Just like that. And with your fingernails, you can just pull it right out. Okay, and then if you haven't dealt with these before, you just, um, I'm doing this one-handed, you push it back out to this point to reinstall. You slide it in, and then you push it flat. All right, and then last one is way over here by the seat belt itself. We're gonna have to get under there and take that bolt out. It's a 10 millimeter as well. I'll do that off camera. All right, once you have all those out, you'll wanna use an extension um, for this one up here because it's kind of deep in there. Um, I had a deep socket, but uh, even with a deep socket, I need an extension anyway. So um, once you have all those popped out, next is to pull this light gray section off. At this point, it's just kind of sitting in there with clips so you just kind of work your way around giving it a pretty snug pull don't feel too bad about it it's sturdier than it looks back here on the edge we're just going to pull this back um probably important to get the seat out of the way So they kind of clip together a little bit. I'm gonna set the phone down. All right, way easier with two hands. All right, so once you get the, like I said, this isn't pulled all the way out or anything. I'm just, it's loose on top because you want to get this, this guy to pull out like that. And then you can kind of spin it around to get it out of your way. So now I'm going to go around to the passenger side door and disconnect where the seat belt connects down here by the rear door. All right, so with the seat flipped up, but the back not down, you can get to this pit bit. Um, this just kind of pops off, like literally. And this is not a 10 mil, that's a 13, I think. 
14. All right, so I'll take that off. Disconnected. I can walk this through the slot. Get that panel out of our way. All right, and then I will take this guy off. It is also 14 millimeter. Um, the other one was pretty difficult. I almost went and got a breaker bar, but uh, anyway. All right, and that one actually wasn't as bad. Uh, the reason it's difficult to do is because it has this like extension in there as part of the bolt. So it kind of flexes when you go to turn it. So it's harder to get it to break break loose because it flexes instead of putting the pressure where it needs to be. Okay. Now that that's off, we just have the retractor itself, which if you pull this black panel out a bit, you can get to the two nut. This one is a 10 millimeter. Down there is a 14, and um, yeah. So I did notice that when, because uh, I was a little worried, the the new retractors wouldn't they they were locking when I would go to pull it out, and it's because it has to be in this angle, in this position, um, for you to pull the seatbelt out. Otherwise, it locks in place. So don't panic if yours aren't coming out when they're new in the box. They're not supposed to. I right, just got the old one out with those two bolts. Like I said, <clears throat> the 14 and the 10. So we'll set that old one aside. Here's the new one. And we'll just kind of do everything backwards. All right, with that now bolted in, we're gonna go ahead and make sure and keep that flat and get this new bolt in up here. Right, with that bolted in now, we're going to keep this nice and flat, and we're going to run it through our panel. I'm going to try and film this and do it one-handed. All right, got that fed through. Um, so I've got this sitting up here. I kind of have to, again, I can't really show you with one hand, but you see how all these little pieces kind of connect in. All these um, tabs have to go in the little holes. So get all that lined up first and then kind of push everything back and snap it into place with the fasteners that are behind it. But it's important to get this lined up and connected to this first. All right, so like you can, you can see, I've got these two lined up and connected. And now you just push the whole thing back in. Should hear all those satisfying pops. And then we reconnect everything that we took out, starting with this one up here. Um, put these little guys back in with the little hook anchors. Um, get this one back in like I showed you already. Should be in this, should look like that when you put it back in and then flush after you're done. Okay, with the panel all back in and in place, we'll grab our new seat belt and run it down and bolt it. And keeping it flat, and bolt it right there, just like that. So you want that side facing down. So this is the website I got the seat belts on. It's um, olathtoyota.com. I'll put a link in the description um, and this shows the little graphic that shows uh, the right seat belt and the left seat belt that I was getting. Here's the two part numbers and the cost as they currently are. This is September uh, 2022. Um, there's the two part numbers and order them and here's the products. This was the left and this is the right. All right, hope that helps you guys.